Okay, Lions win. I'm going to tell you three reasons why this was such a huge victory uh, for the Lions. First one, rookies just shining. Um, James Mitchell, tight end. Again, you, you, you prove that, hey, Hawk is good. I get it, all this, but we have a chance to move on from him. Insert James Mitchell. Insert some of these other guys. Based on our offense and what we can do, not a big deal. I get it's one game, but James Mitchell – Hey, comes in, makes a couple of huge catches. Kirby Joseph, the reason we, uh, as another one, the reason we drafted him was ball skills. You see, you know, you hear that everyone says that about a safety that you draft high ball skills, ball hawk. Actually, he is. Okay. So guy makes just a couple great catches. It's one thing to be in position, but to actually make a couple interceptions on Aaron Rodgers, awesome. And then Aiden Hutchinson, if you watched him in that game, um, couldn't get to the quarterback. His pass rush is definitely something that he's going to have to um, sharpen this offseason. It just is. And he's a rookie. It's fine. But um, he comes off, kind of makes makes a huge interception at the goal line. So that's number one. Number two, love beating the Packers. Love it. You've won for 25 years. You went from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers. You always beat us. But you know what? We've just kind of beat you more in the last few few years now i get some of its garbage time into the year and they're not playing aaron Rodgers. i don't care we beat the packers and it just feels so good to almost um put the I, you could almost say they put the final nail in the coffin to this aaron Rodgers last few years dwindling away team's not good you go to detroit crowds there ready to go and you win and beat aaron Rodgers in the packers love that i love beating the Packers. Let me just say that one more time. And then the third reason this was huge was you, you need to win. Like <laughs> this has taught me because I, I knew we were going to the rebuild, right? Last year was year one and you're in just in your head. You're like, well, it's going to take a couple of years, probably by year three, we can really compete. But what I've learned is you watch the games on Sunday, two teams prepare, ready to go. It's like, you gotta, you want to win, you want to win. And so it's huge for Dan Campbell, the coaching staff in general, obviously all the players, the social media. I mean, you, you know, you, you just look at the whole organization. It's so hard when you don't win and the questions that you get and just trying, you know, you're trying to just, why'd you go for it? On, you know, it's just like, uh, but when you win, that's the thing about football, you lose or you win, you win. Hey, that decision on fourth down, whatever. Yeah. you won. But if you lose, it's like, why'd you go for it? You can't manage the clock. What are you doing? And so winning cures everything. So that's awesome that, that the Lions win. It's just great for the fan base. You just win. You know, I get it. We're not going to win the Super Bowl this year, but you play to win the game. Herm Edwards, you play to win the game. You play. That's right. We're out there. Let's play. Let's win. And if you don't win, it's just questions. And you're wondering what we're doing. And you wonder when, what Brad Holmes is doing. And what's Dan Campbell up? Can he manage? It's like we won. Okay. The Lions win. Now you, you go to two, uh, two and five. I don't even know what we are, but we got two victories. You do have a lot of games left. And, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not going to get slappy here and say that the Lions, oh, hey, if we do that, but you do have a lot of games left to continue to win, develop. Kirby Joseph, you're just looking at these rookies now. It's like, man, okay, we are notch up. Remember last year you had undrafted rookies like AJ Parker? Hey, was in there, could compete, but there's just a different level. You know, you see Jerry Jacobs, you see Kaminsky, you see um um Charles Harris at the he's made a couple good, just there's a difference on our pass rush when those guys are healthy. We've got some guys back. And you know what? Derek Barnes, there's another one, made some big plays. He gets confused out there like you can literally see him get confused there was that huge third and 15 where it was zone we were ready Aaron Rodgers you're not going to run it on us and he just forgets what he's doing and Aaron Rodgers just pump fakes him and runs it for 15 yards like Derek Barnes makes some crazy terrible mistakes but also he played well he played in there for Rodriguez so so many positives come out of this game when you win, right? So it was great to see the Lions win. Let me know in the comments, I mean, your thoughts on this, because I just, it's like, okay, thank you. Rookies played well. 
you beat the Packers. It's just a mental thing. I don't know if the Packers are good. If the, I know they're not good, but you know, are they terrible? Who cares? You beat the Packers. You 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 just you made a play when you had to. Because I mean, oh geez, you're watching that one where um, Okuda and who you know the other guy are just like fumbling the ball out of bounds. Like grab it, just grab it, and we win, and it goes out of bounds. You know, and you're just like, oh my gosh, Lions, here we go, here we go, Lions. But we made a play made a play when we had to make it Aaron Rodgers was like throwing off his back foot love it just absolutely loved everything and so last thing I'll say is this is a great reminder for us Lions fans that this is a rebuild I mean it just it's just a rebuild for the long game we're playing the long-term rebuild I I think in in the in football you just you just want to you want to win like I was just saying so you reach for players, you, you know, you just do all the things in the off season that you shouldn't do and it just to win now. And it just never, you never can cons- get a consistent winner. Well, I think James Mitchell is a perfect example. We draft him. He's injured. You're like, what are we doing? Well, he's getting healthy. Jerry Jacobs is getting healthy. We're going to get Jameson Williams back. We're going to get, you know, you just start seeing it. You see our defense win when our defensive line is healthy, it's like, Hey, and then we got Okuda's playing well, Kirby Joseph. I mean, it's just, I I'm not, you know, it's one game and one victory. So I, I don't, you don't want to get crazy, but you also like when you win, you, you notice some good things out there. That's like real. I think it's real. So we're, we're just going to keep going. And this victory allows you to do that. When you lose week after week, practice is hard. Preparation's hard. You're questioning the coach. You're questioning the GM questioning the ownership and again it's one game okay (laughs) it's one game we've still only won two games but it's just good to see for everybody involved ourselves included me and craig we we have this channel we talked a lot about the lions and what can you talk about when you lose 18 games in a row you know it's, it's, it's hard so we're excited um let me know in the comments your general thoughts on this game but again we beat the packers rookie shine and at the end of the day you just win you win the game you find a way crunch time defense plays plays well i mean again i know that that aaron rodgers doesn't have his usual weapons but it's aaron rodgers i mean you just see it you see him just flick of the wrist he's putting it all over the place and we were just tight coverage we played well nothing stupid where the packers you know just made some mistakes and 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 we really we overcame that one golf um, interception that was just brutal. You can't interest you know, but that's another video. I don't sign it. See, like right there, if we lose that, if we lose, then golf just gets killed, which he should. But uh, anyway, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Lions win, and we'll see all of you on the next one.